it's very good to look at the harmonic context and of the solo and uh, the relationship between the melody and the harmony and what Ravel has done. So when you start, it's very important to keep in mind the bass harmony uh, that occurs beneath the melody at the beginning of the solo. It's like this. So it's this sort of seventh chordish type of harmony. And that uh, conflicts a little bit with the melody. That harmony stays for quite a while under the melody at the beginning. So keep in mind the uh, int intensification uh, of the melody as this harmony is sort of staying underneath it 